Dear colleagues, this is a hard cataract. In this case, I have used waistcoat from Alcon for protection of corneal endothelium. Let us see the surgical steps. This is the main incision, 2.8 millimeter. Now, one side put is being made on the left side of the main incision. This is the side put on the left side of the main incision. Now, I am injecting an air bubble into the anterior chamber. I want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract with tripan blue dye. Underneath this air bubble, I am injecting tripan blue dye 0.06% at this moment. Just after a few seconds, after several seconds, this dye is washed out with a Simcoe cannula. And now I'm going to inject this coat first and underneath this this coat I'm going to inject ASPMC. This is this coat. This much is enough. So enough of this coat has been injected. Now I am injecting ASPMC on the anterior capsule so that this base coat sticks to the corneal endothelium. This is a modified soft shell technique. Now, this is another side port on the right side of the main incision. Now, I am going to incise the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens with this 26 case bent needle and I'm, I have raised this flap, this capsular tag. I hold this tag with this utrita forceps. I move anticlockwise and make this large rexis. In hard cataracts, I want to do a large rexis, about 5.75 to 6 millimeter, because everything is very easy if we can do a hard cataract. Now, hydrodissection very gently, the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized. It is rotating freely. Now, I am going to make a pit at this anterior pole of this cataractus lens. I am going to bevel down and going to make a crater at the anterior pole of this cataract. This is Oatly Cataract 3 FECO machine. FECO power at this time is 85%. Flow rate is 30 and vacuum is 110. So I am sculpting in bevel down position because in bevel down position the occlusion is immediate and with each application of energy, echo energy, ultrasonic energy, we can remove more lens matter. Now I have made it bevel up. I'm going to chop it now. This is the fast chop. Now I'm going to rotate it 180 degree and making it just separating the nucleus. So the nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei. Now each heminucleus is further divided into fragments and each fragment is emulsified and removed. At this time in I am in FECO2 mode. In FECO2 mode, in this case the FECO power is 85%, flow rate is 50 and vacuum is 500 millimeter of mercury. Yes, I have increased my parameters. Flow rate is 50, that is the maximum in the machine, and vacuum is 500. Maximum vacuum in the machine is 550. And this is the last portion of the nucleus. I have removed the chopper so that the leakage from the side port stops. Posterior capsule goes backward and I can safely emulsify the last portion of the nucleus.
and now I am going to inject a bit of viscoelastic substance. This is HPMC. I am going to remove the cortical matter, the cortex. Epinucleus has been incorporated into the nucleus in this case, and this is a bit of little bit of cortical lens matter. So the cortex is very easily being removed by the Simco cannula. I'm going through the side foot to remove the soft incisional cortical lens matter. I'm going through the other side foot to remove the cortical matter which is there from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. That's it. The posterior capsule is clear. The patient is under topical anesthesia, but the patient is very cooperative. I did under topical anesthesia because I saw that the pupil is very well dilated. Now, this is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. I'm implanting this lens in the capsular bag. Yes, the lens is in the capsular bag. I'm dialing the lens with the help of the chopper and the Sinsky hook. Both the haptics have gone in the equatorial region of the capsular bag. Now I am going to irrigate out the viscoelastic substance. Here it is. I am going to irrigate out the viscoelastic substance. That's it. So most of the viscoelastic substance has come out. Now I am going to irrigate again with the irrigating probe of the bimanual IA. All these maneuvers takes time but the job is thorough. Viscoelastic substance is very nicely cleaned and the patient is very happy. The patient, there is no rise of intraocular pressure because of retained viscoelastic substance. Because most of the viscoelastic substance, almost 100% viscoelastic substance is removed thoroughly. Now the side ports are hydrated and this is the this is the final wash under higher magnification. That's it. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. We can take help of viscoat to protect corneal endothelium in hard cataracts like this by modified soft shell technique. Thank you very much for watching.